Right, uh, here we go again. Um, it's the 22nd of April 2020 and I'm having a third attempt to make this movie actually, would you believe, with a house full of grandchildren. Uh, firstly, I would uh, like to apologise to subscribers on uh, YouTube if you're looking at this, and uh, which I hope you will, of course. Um, I can't get out with the COVID-19 restrictions. It's not possible to get out and, and make and, and make movies of trains or any other transport or go for trips and so on. And, and those restrictions could go for some weeks or even months. But just getting briefly onto uh, Virgin Airlines, I was of the opinion that, that the uh, c company would fold completely and it's in receivership right now and that a, that a new company, government owned, and this is most unusual because a coalition government is in power and they're not inclined to nationalise things, but nationalising of Virgin Airlines has been discussed and I think it won't come and be rebadged because that will cost many tens of millions of dollars to repaint and relaunch an airline, whether you call it Australian National Airlines or whatever the name might be. So I believe it will re-emerge sometime after COVID-19 when the restrictions are lifted uh, and it will be some, some time, as I said, some months. But I think it will be a different uh, company in a sense that uh, will be nationalised. It will retain the name Virgin Australia. It will be half the size of what the... Uh, the now closed down version is and also I see a risk of uh, Jetstar closing uh, with Qantas just operating uh, almost all of their routes uh, are unaltered except perhaps with frequencies a bit lower uh, um, quite a bit lower in some cases um, for some time so uh, I stand by that in other words I do believe they'll be nationalised just uh, briefly let me say, and I might discuss this quite separately, and I might uh, have even mentioned this in the past, but I think uh, privatisation has been a huge mistake um, by the government. Uh, getting Privatising trains like the GAN and the Indian Pacific and the Overland was a massive mistake, and the prices, or the fares I should say, are probably not just double they're probably close to three times what they really should be but i think they should reform australian national railways and run those trains and perhaps even launch other train services uh in the future because uh, i really believe that there's going to be two airlines but they're going to be one government and one private ironically Qantas would be the private one because it used to be a government uh, airline as many people might know. Um, competition? No. I recall I recall the days of uh, uh, Ansett Airlines, which was, was private, and, and uh, TAA, which was government, Trans Australia Airlines. Uh, wingtip to wingtip, they used to fly. Fares would be the same. Uh, little difference. People can can uh, contradict me if they wish, but uh, I believe that was the case, and I'm recalling from the 60s, the 1960s, and probably, you know, into the 70s, and so on. The railways were still quite popular. Trains like the Southern Aurora were, were, were filled regularly, and, and then over the years, the discount airlines caused the demise of those trains, and the Indian Pacific went from four days a week, was gone down to one day a week. Uh, but it is quite possible, in my opinion, for those to come back under a new name, Australian National Railways, uh, in the future. Don't look for it in the next six months, 12 months. It'll take a while uh, to be recreated, in my opinion. But just anyway, uh, uh, the final thoughts, shall we say, on this uh, Virgin Airlines thing is um, it can't be rescued and it couldn't have been, and people are crying and carrying on and pleading and getting on television, making 
making uh, propaganda movies uh, of themselves. Uh, please save mummy's job, you know. Uh, people forget about the demise of Ansford Airlines. They forget about Compass Airlines, which I think there was Compass 1 and Compass 2, I'm not sure, but a while ago, back in the 90s. Um, they're gone without a trace. And as I said, yes, we will see Virgin Airlines again, but it won't be the same. And there'll be a change in the number of routes and, and the number of services they operate. They may even do things that are almost or are indeed unheard of today. I would say you could have a Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, Cairns route, for example, stopping at all those places. And you could have a Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth route, and even a Melbourne, uh, Alice Springs, Darwin route, or some of the services, of course, going via um, Uluru, or which used to be called Ayers Rock. So those are the kind of things that we might see. And just in conclusion on some of that, I think even Qantas and Qantas Link will change. Uh, they run services, for example, out from, from Brisbane to uh, Barcaldon and Longreach. Well, I believe they'll extend out to Winton across to Mount Isa, for example. So you'll find a lot of changes. And uh, uh, I'd like some uh, civil and polite comment on this. And uh, I'd welcome that. And I'd welcome a couple of questions or thoughts on the on the issues so uh, uh, th thank you for viewing <laughs>